The rape kit as it began in the 1970s was a very simple box with some envelopes and maybe a comb and some clippers for clipping nails and just some very basic tools in it. So much of what matters about the kit isn't in the kit. It's the training of the nurses. It's creating a database. It's training of people in the crime lab and the police officers and creating a kind of common language because it sits in the middle of medicine and criminal justice. The story really starts in an old falling apart townhouse on Halsted Street in Chicago, full of hippies who were running this helpline for what was then called runaway teenagers. And Marty Goddard, she was on the board of Metro Help which was the center. And so she volunteered to field some of the calls. And as she was doing that, this picture began to emerge of a hidden epidemic of child sexual abuse. At the time, this is the early 70s, marital rape is legal. Child abuse and child sexual abuse is thought to be really, really rare. And even in textbooks, it's called the fault of the girl. At the same time, there was this big anti-rape movement emerging in the country. So she got involved in that movement and was put on a task force to look into why there were so many sexual assaults and why so few were investigated. 